you ever find yourself struggling with short little pitch shots? So 20, 30, 40 yards pitch shots. So sometimes you might hit the ground before the ball, sometimes you might hit the top of the ball and lose control of it, shoots over the other side of the green. And sometimes you might hit a good one, but it might not go the correct distance. Now, an issue that I see all the time with people uh, with this particular shot, if I just come back a little bit more, is that the backswing tends to be okay, and it's this movement through impact. So the wrists now stop and what's called cup, and what will happen from there, you'll lift the club off the ground, and this is when it's very easy to hit the top of the ball and send the ball along the floor. So it kind of looks this way through impact, and then the body tends to go. And one of the main reasons this happens is subconsciously we're trying to lift the golf ball up in the air. So if I just play a shot from here, and hopefully you'll be able to see this on the, on the screen in a second, so that one was a little bit thin. So in a second, you'll see it on the camera, there my wrist flip, and then I try and get the body to go through, but by that time, the shot's really poor. So if I just do that again, little back swing, flip the wrist, and then we've got that horrible top shot. So I do see this, hopefully you can see that on the, the little camera from there. Um, not a great way to chip. So what we've got here is a very simple solution to help you feel what you should be doing through impact. So this is just an alignment cane that I'm using and I'm putting it down the back of the golf club with a nice bit sticking out of the side. Now, I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't ask you to set up this way, but what we're doing is we're holding the club as normal and the cane goes against your left hip. Um, now this creates uh, automatic length in your arm. So I don't want to keep my arm straight, just keep it nice and relaxed, but the cane goes against your left hip. Now, if you use your wrist in the backswing, if you then try and cup your wrist, the cane will jab against your side and it'll stop the club moving past the golf ball. So if I show you how we want this to happen, so a gentle turn in the backswing, my arms are comfortably straight from here, back to impact, and my arms are now going through, so everything stayed at the same length. Nice and smooth. So you can, you can actually hit a shot like this in practice. So I wouldn't recommend that you shove the hands too far forward except when you're playing these shots normally, but it's a, as an exercise, this is a brilliant way to stop you flipping the wrist through impact. So if I make my correct setup now, back, and through. So hopefully what we'll see from here on the screen, you'll see how my arms are longer and everything moves through much better. So as I'm striking the shot, my arms are staying nice and longer. My wrists have been really what I would call passive. They're not doing much at all. And what's lifting the golf ball is the loft of the golf club, not my wrist. So I don't need to add this little flicky movement when we're hitting the shot. We just move the body efficiently through impact. So there is a gentle turn and weight shift through impact. And this will lift the ball so much easier. Let's see if I can get one a touch close to that flag. So from here, you'll hopefully you'll see how my arms and bodies are moving much more efficiently and keeping the length in my arms. I'm not flipping my wrist in any way. Just simple back and through. So using the loft of the club to lift the golf ball, not the wrists. So this is the worst motion that we can do for chipping. And I see it all the time with amateur golfers. But if we can keep everything moving together, so using the cane, let's put that just down the back of the golf club, use the cane to give you the feeling that we're after. You could try a few shots with it with pleasure, but just gives you the feeling of everything staying connected, then put it to one side, imagine that you're still holding the cane, and then practice it. Now what you should be doing, if you really want to improve your pitching, is make sure you video your golf swing, so your little pitch swing. So put your camera face on so you can see exactly what's happening with your hands and arms through impact. Make sure that you're turning and transferring your weight well through impact. 
uh, and then the loft of the club will do all the lifting for you. So this is just a simple tip to help you with your short pitch shots, so 20, 30, 40 yard pitch shots. But if you're really serious about your golf and you want to take it to another level and you're sick of looking on YouTube trying to find the answer to the problems that you've got, you really should be signing up to propergolfing.com. On there I've got hundreds of videos that will help you fully understand what you need to be doing. As part of your membership, not only do you get instant access to that, you'll also get a weekly invite to a Zoom webinar that I host where we have golfers from all over the world who come in and join us. And then as also as part of your membership, you'll get monthly coaching sessions from me personally. So if you're really serious about your golf, sign up to Proper Golfing today and let's take you on your journey. Now I hope this short video has helped you understand what it is that you could be doing to improve your pitching and uh, please if you've got any questions drop me a note in the in the comment box below and i'll happily answer them as quickly as possible so i hope this helps and take care bye